Okay, here's the uh, battery battery pack, and uh, while the car was in the shop getting this really nice respray job, the uh, DC to DC converter was accidentally left on, and the DC to DC is wired between this point and this point here, and that's 100 volts, but it depleted this part of the battery pack so that when it got charged up it looks like it overcharged these cells here not sure about those and we can see they're all puffed up and expanded this bit of aluminum here and when we measure the voltages on these they're all at 4.2 volts or so 4.2, 4.3 volts whereas we expect them to be around about 3.7 volts so they're definitely damaged I haven't taken the plastic off here, we see all these buckled all of which is not very good Three seventy-two. Three seventy-two. Three seventy-three. Three seventy-three. Four thirty-five. <laughs> Four thirty four. Four thirty five. This one. Four thirty five. This one. So this one, this one, this one, and. This one, definitely bad. And that doesn't look very happy either. What's not shown here is uh, the fact that the one of the batteries is shorted out to the chassis of the battery pack. And that means that the car is at a potential of, of approximately 118 volts above pack low. And this means you can get a shock if you touch any part of the battery and the car normally the battery pack floats relative to the car and there's no danger but since the battery part of the battery is actually connected to the uh, body of the car now it means that any other part of the battery will form a, uh, a circuit if you touch both sides Moving the uh, temperature sensors. Wow! See that? Pushed it. Mm. See how that bolt is distorted because of the pressure. Bing.
you need to loosen it. <laughs> so it hit the pop. Yeah, pop. I suppose we should be, you know, we should be careful. These could actually like, burst. They could burst and spray us with lithium, which would not be good. Straight line here. You can see how that is curved and how just by taking the pressure off that one there, oh, it's bulged out. Um, uh, do you want to <coughs> discharge something? Uh, what we should do, before I get down to the last half turn, we should we should clamp this together so that we can release it slowly. slowly. Okay, here we go. Go bang, so oh my god, that is tight. Is that actually doing anything? It seems to be very tight, isn't it? Are the others popping up too? No, that's okay. Yep, that's what happened. We're on fire, which is good. This one completely disconnected. I can try to pull this one out. Yes, it's disconnected. Okay. But the but the the bar is still in there, isn't it? Yeah. It's going to oh, be very difficult now to it remove. Is, uh, it is bent. Yeah. Can you can you remove? It? This is what happens to your battery pack when you charge it incorrectly. Nice big bend on that. Right, yeah, you're mostly out. So. Okay. Make sure you don't touch the terminals. Yeah, it's coming up. It's the, it's the plastic that's going creak, creak. <coughs> there's, there's these plastic lugs mm. in the terminals. Yeah, holding something. Can you try can you try lifting it physically up like this? The 
didn't go what, VJ? <laughs> <laughs> go kabang. Kabang. <laughs> I'm waiting for it not to go kabang. Kabang! Ta da! <laughs> yeah, that's a dead, dead cell. Yeah, right, well, just. There we go. Yeah, Trying hard not to touch the terminals. Yeah. So now we have the four bad ones out. remove the water because we took this out on the road. So the trick here is to steal batteries from your buddy's conversion while he's not looking. Very important to polish the batteries before you put them in. <laughs> right, so that's low, high. So this should go low, high. So it should be other way around. So this, this plate matches up there. Now the problem is, although well, these two knobs have a hole to go into, these ones don't. On the other cells, there's actually a divot for those. So we're just gonna grind off these two end knobs just to make it easier to fit. Which would match those. Put a rod in there, stop it all falling apart. And this this one as well. And there you have it, one completely repaired battery pack, we hope.